week of free agency is over, and I tell you what, a lot of stuff has occurred, and we've been doing a lot of breaking news, but this video is a little bit different, getting back to more graphics, and we're just going to talk about the latest news that happened, signings, and what it means, what could go forward, and an update on a player. So without further ado, let's get this thing going. The Detroit Lions signed a new player this morning from the Dallas Cowboys as a free agent. We're going to talk about him, give a little bit of update on what he is, what he brings. Romeo Aquara is staying with the Detroit Lions. He did a change of his contract to really help out the Lions in cap space. We're going to do an update on DJ Chark, the latest for him, and CJ Gardner-Johnson, whom the Lions did sign last night to a fantastic deal. I got to say that. And right now we're going to start with the new player that Detroit Lions signed. That's Jake McQuaid. And I'm giving this two Lions logos of happiness. Why is that? Because it was an easy deal. He's a former Pro Bowler. And the Detroit Lions, there's nothing wrong with getting some players to help the team out, even if they're older. And that's what he is. He's a little bit older player here. He's 35 years old, but he's a long snapper. That's why it's not a big deal. And he's going to compete with our long snapper. See who wins. Look, in Detroit, we love our long snappers here, folks. We all know it. Long snappers is a a great thing, and special teams is a unit for the Lions. But he's a former pro bowler. Really good to have that on this team and compete for a roster spot. So, fine with that. It's only a one-year deal. It's really small. Pretty much veteran minimum. Nothing to worry about there. But welcome to... To the D. Right now, folks, if you are not subscribed to this channel, subscribe, trying to grow and climb the Chat Sports ladder. Right now, I'm at 34,457. We are so close away from 34,500. Smash that like button. Let's get to 35,500 today. We can do it, folks. With your help, it can happen. Romeo Aquara. He's actually staying with the Detroit Lions. Now, I thought they would cut him because of his contract, but he actually redid his contract, took a pay cut to stay with the Detroit Lions. This has big ramifications for not just the Lions roster right now, but for the NFL draft. Let's go ahead and get into this, though. He was reported first by ESPN's Field Yates that defensive end Romeo Aquire agreed to a pay cut that saves the Lions nearly $9 million in cap space. A look at the renegotiated contract over the cap reveals this very simple move. Aquara was due $11 million in salary in 2023. That number is now $2 million. In other words, Aquara took a $9 million pay cut to stay with the Detroit Lions. That's what he did, folks. He took a $9 million pay cut. So shout out to Romeo Aquara because if he didn't take that pay cut, he was going to get cut. But we got a really solid edge player in Romeo for $2 million. You add him with Charles Harris, who we're going to negotiate his contract as well. We have an absolute solid defensive line. And we haven't even hit the NFL draft yet, in which we feel that the Lions are going to upgrade the defensive line in this NFL draft with some young talent. Romeo Aquara, Charles Harris, Julian Aquara. Joshua Pascal, Aiden Hutchinson, Isaiah Bugs, Ali McNeil. I'm sure I've left someone else on there. Levi and Wuzurike, we don't really believe that he's probably going to even play. But freeing up cap space right now, that's what Brad Holmes has done, and we're doing good. We're sitting pretty over the cap. Has the Detroit Lions? Right now we're on top five in cap in the NFL. So we ain't done. We're not done. We got talent. Saving money. Brad Holmes is doing this cutthroat. Not playing around. We're not overpaying anyone anymore. And that's the important part. Shout out to Brad Holmes. But this has ramifications on the NFL draft. What are the Detroit Lions going to do at that pick 6 or 18? You think that edge rusher at this point, you wouldn't need it. But do they just go BPA? Could they go defensive tackle? Kalijah Kansi? Could they make a bold move, take a quarterback? Could they take an offensive weapon like Bijan? I don't know. But what they've done in free agency has made it so we don't know, which is fan-effing-tastic. 
because you don't want us to know. You don't want any other GM to know. You just want to take BPA, the best player available. Whatever they think they take, I support because I love what they're doing. Thank you, Romeo. But is Big V next in renegotiating a contract? Well, while I'm recording this right now, and again, I continue to refresh because as we know, the Detroit Lions continue to make moves when I make videos. So right now, he has not renegotiated a contract while I'm speaking to you. But that when he does, because I got told he was it was going to happen, it's going to open up more cap space for the Detroit Lions, just like Romeo did and Charles Harris did. And if he's healthy, I have no problem with him staying. If he's not healthy, I do have a Did go in the draft and draft Osiris Torrance if he's not going to be healthy. You have an opportunity to get to get an offensive line at 18 and be perfectly fine because we did so good in free agency. But either way, if he is good to go, the renegotiated contract, the Detroit Lions offensive line is going to be ridiculous. And that's exactly what the Detroit Lions need to be ridiculous. So Brad Holmes continued to do his thing. Disner continued to do your thing. Everybody continue to make the financials good for the Detroit Lions. Got a question for you. Have you hit that notification bell? Because if you haven't done so, that's not a smart move. Last night, the Lions signed C.J. Gardner-Johnson. Had to drop the video, and it was, it was what, 9.45 p.m. So if you had the notification bell, you got notified of the Lions signing. If you don't, you're not going to get notified. So go ahead and smash that like button. There's still a lot of players to be signed. Could the Lions go ahead and get DJ Chark back on a deal? It's possible, but you got to hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on the latest news and rumors regarding our Detroit Lions. Lions upgrade that secondary. C.J. Gardner-Johnson. Now, I talked about it last night, so I don't want to go over it really again. But I got to tell you what. Boy, oh boy, this is a great move by the Detroit Lions. One-year, $8 million deal. Upgrade the secondary in a big way. And I got to tell you what, Detroit Lions players, just like Detroit Lions fans and myself, absolutely loved it. I went ape, I went apex. Hell yeah, I went crazy. Give me hell yeah in the comment section, by the way, that he's there. But guess what? I'm not the only one. These Detroit Lions players went apex as well. Alex Anzalone, Gator boy in the D. When the Lions signed C.J. Gardner-Johnson. Jason Cabinda, we making moves with the eye emojis. You damn well right we making moves. And you know Jason Cabinda and his eyes are wide open. We've seen that in Hard Knocks. This dude got some wide eyes. But he happy as can be. Isaiah Bugs, defense def- definitely fit to go crazy. It absolutely is going to go crazy. We love you, Bugs. You're 100% correct here. This defense is ridiculous right now. And we still got a lot to do with the draft and free agency. Oh, here we go, man. Look at that. Excited as a mug to be up in this mug. Jerry Jacobs, very vocal. Love the guy. Now, that's what I'm talking about. That's a dog we just got on board. Literally, a dog. Jerry Jacobs, physical player, great guy. He loves it. And it's in the secondary. He loves it. Jerry Jacobs says, let's get it, gang. That's what's up right there. Gardner Johnson. I love it when they do this gif with the legs up and down. Oh, hell yeah. Jerry, he's, a, he's, a, he's happy as a mug. Oh, hell Hell yeah! The exact words I said was, oh, hell yeah! Give me a hell yeah! C.J. Gardner-Johnson, he's a love it too. Number two, he says, let's get it. Let's get it. And you should be excited. Let's get it. You should be absolutely excited that this man has joined this football team. The players are excited. I'm excited. This is a big signing. It's really a big signing. Because it gives the flexibility of the Detroit Lions to do anything in the 2023 NFL Draft. They go anyway. Hell, they can go wide receiver at 18. And you say, man, we, we, we can't go offense. No, we can at this point. You go BPA. You can go any route you want to go. BPA, baby. And that's what happens when you're able to do really good in free agency with these contracts. But if they do wide receiver, that means what's going on here with DJ Chark? 
Lions wide receiver. Well, the Panthers would still like to re-sign or sign him. Sorry, Panthers sign Adam Thielen to a three-year deal, and they said they would like to sign DJ Chark, but the Lions could re-sign him per Dave Burkett. So right now it's 50-50 with Chark coming back, and maybe it's been resolved by this video coming out or by the time you watched it. It, it just has it while I'm here, so I'm making this video, but. Lions got the cap to get it done. They absolutely got the cap space to bring DJ Chark back. So it looks like it's a two-headed monster here with Panthers and Lions. Chark, would you actually like to play for a team like the Carolina Panthers, whom, you know, it's a rebuild mode, let's be honest here, or would you like to go to a team that the Detroit Lions is going to compete in the NFC, I'm not even talking just NFC. I'm talking about the NFC. A legit competition. And if the Lions host playoff games, folks, you know they ain't going to lose that sound, bitch. You know the crowd is going to be so amped. The Lions could make a chance to win this bad boy. They really could. So 50-50 for Chark. I want him back on the right deal because I think him and... Jared Goff got on the same page, but if they don't, you can get a wide receiver in the NFL draft and you can go higher than expected. And that's just hashtag facts right now. Folks, again, hit that notification bell. I cannot stress that enough because of the breaking news that's happening. You just want to make sure that you don't miss out on the latest news rumors regarding our Detroit Lions live show on Thursday. Make sure you're there. We're going to be talking about free agency in the NFL draft. With that said, folks, adios. Adios.